Ah, do you remember that moment? The first time those four vibrant ladies graced your screen. Their laughter echoing through your living room like old friends catching up after years apart. It was 1985, a year that would forever be etched in your memory. For that's when the Golden Girls sashayed into your world, leaving an indelible mark of humor, heart, and a dash of Miami sunshine. Picture it, you, nestled on your favorite couch, a bowl of popcorn in hand as the iconic theme song swirled around you like a comforting embrace. Blanche's saucy quips, Dorothy's sharp wit, Rose's innocent charm, and Sophia's sassy wisdom quickly wove a tapestry of companionship that you didn't know you were missing. It was like a masterclass in friendship, served up with a side of laughter that bubbled over, filling every corner of your home. As the episodes unfolded, you found yourself chuckling at Blanche's romantic escapades, pondering the profound simplicity of Sophia's anecdotes, and rolling your eyes in good-natured exasperation as Rose embarked on yet another journey into her quirky past. The camaraderie of these four ladies felt like an extension of your own family, inviting you into their lives as if you were sharing cheesecake at the kitchen table right alongside them. And oh, the moments that stayed with you, Dorothy's deadpan one-liners that left you snorting with unexpected glee, Rose's tales of scent, Olaf that never failed to elicit a knowing smile, the tender instances when Sophia's sage advice hit home, and Blanche's larger-than-life presence that made you wish you could strut confidently through life just like her. But what if I told you that beneath the laughter and wit, there's a trove of intriguing facts about the show that may have escaped your notice? From behind-the-scenes anecdotes that will make you feel like an honorary member of the cast to fascinating tidbits about the show's creation, there's a world of Golden Girls trivia waiting for you to discover. So, dear reader, as we journey together through these captivating nuggets of knowledge, let the memories of your first encounter with these golden-hearted women wash over you. Grab a slice of cheesecake, settle in, and let's uncover the hidden gems that make the Golden Girls shine even brighter, even brighter, even brighter. The Golden Girls, a beloved TV series that aired from 1985 to 1992, emerged from the creative minds of Susan Harris and Paul Yomerwit. Set in Miami, the show follows the lives of four diverse and vibrant women, Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, and Sophia. Each character brings a distinct personality and background adding depth and humor to the ensemble. The series stands out for its unique blend of comedy and touching moments, seamlessly addressing themes like friendship, aging, and family dynamics. The witty writing and stellar performances earned the Golden Girls critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. Its innovative approach to tackling societal issues paved the way for future shows to address similar topics. Notably, the show garnered accolades, including Emmy and Golden Globe Awards, and remains an enduring cultural phenomenon. Its iconic catchphrases, memorable one-liners, and relatable characters continue to influence pop culture, inspiring references in other media and even a spin-off series, The Golden Palace. Random facts about the Golden Girls, the role of Sophia was intended for an older actress, but Estelle Geta's impeccable portrayal earned her a spot. The four main actresses had a remarkable chemistry on set, contributing to the show's authenticity. Rue McClanahan initially auditioned for the role of Rose, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Betty White, playing the lovable and naive Rose, brought her own comedic timing and charm to the character. These tidbits offer a glimpse into the fascinating world of the Golden Girls and the lasting impact it has had on television and society. Betty White, a versatile actress renowned for her comedic prowess, left an indelible mark on television history through her portrayal of Rose Nyland. Surprisingly, White embodied Rose across four different shows, Empty Nest, Nurses, The Golden Girls, and The Golden Palace. Her seamless transition between these roles showcased her exceptional talent. Amid the camaraderie of the Golden Girls, a peculiar indulgence emerged. Over 100 cheesecakes savored during the show's seven-year run. Remarkably, bakeries from across the nation contributed these delectable treats to the actresses. However, a twist of irony unfolded as B. Arthur, who graced the screen as Dorothy, harbored a personal aversion to cheesecake. Behind the casting decisions lay intriguing deliberations that altered the trajectory of the show. Initially, producers envisioned Rue McClanahan as a version of the naive Vivian Cavender from Maud, and Betty White as the man-hungry Sue Ann Nivens from the Mary Tyler Moore Show. A role reversal motivated by the desire to evade typecasting. 
led to McClanahan's endearing portrayal of Blanche DeVero and White's iconic depiction of Rose. This audacious switch also played a pivotal role in enticing B. Arthur, a distinguished talent, to join the ensemble cast. The Golden Girls transcended the sitcom landscape, etching a cultural legacy through its dynamic cast, witty scripts, and the serendipitous convergence of talents behind the scenes. As we reflect upon this captivating series, let us remember the intricate interplay of casting decisions that catalyzed its success. Its success. Its success. Estelle Getty, an ageless matriarch of the Golden Girls in the realm of television's iconic quartets, none shone quite as brilliantly as the Golden Girls in 1985. A harmonious blend of humor, camaraderie, and timeless wit, the series painted a vivid portrait of four dynamic women navigating life's twists and turns. Yet, beneath the laughter and camaraderie, an intriguing irony emerged, anchored by the remarkable Estelle Getty, portraying Sophia Petrillo, a sharp-witted matriarch with a flair for delivering zingers. Estelle Getty defied expectations. Despite being the second youngest among the main actresses, her character held the distinction of being the eldest of the four. Getty's uncanny ability to seamlessly inhabit this role belied her actual age, a feat made all the more remarkable by her being the first of the trio to leave us. In a heart-rending twist, Estelle Getty's departure in 2008 marked the beginning of a bittersweet progression. As the years marched on, the cast dwindled, and the vibrant camaraderie that had defined the show's essence grew tinged with a sense of loss. With the passing of Rue McClanahan and then Betty White on December 31, 2021, the final chapter was etched into history. Betty White, the indomitable Rose Nyland, was the last surviving member of this beloved ensemble. Geta's portrayal of Sophia, her character's age-defying paradox, and the eventual passing of these iconic actresses, all underscored the enduring impact of the Golden Girls. A testament to the power of talent, friendship, and ageless humor, this series remains a poignant ode to the beauty of shared laughter across generations. 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 Gen Unveiling the timeless charms of the Golden Girls, the enigma of the missing chair amidst the laughter and camaraderie that adorned the iconic 1985 TV series The Golden Girls. A subtle quirk remained largely unnoticed by its ardent viewers. Nestled around that illustrious kitchen table, where tales of love, life, and hilarity unfolded, were three chairs, perpetually devoid of a fourth. This puzzling tableau was no mere coincidence. It was a carefully calculated maneuver born out of both artistic constraint and an eagerness to capture the essence of the show's indelible characters. While the show's premise revolved around four vivacious women sharing their golden years under one roof, the kitchen table, a veritable heart of the household, presented a unique challenge. With filming limitations at play, a decision was made to seat only three of the quartet around the table. The astute choice averted the awkwardness of overcrowding or having an actress obscured from the camera's view. At the core of this arrangement was B. Arthur, a towering presence both in stature and talent. Positioned in the central chair, her reactions to the escapades recounted by her housemates, Blanche's saucy tales of past exploits, Rose's whimsical scent, Olaf Chronicles, and Sophia's captivating picture it. Narratives were framed in perfect harmony, ensuring none of her priceless expressions went unnoticed. The irony, however, lies in the fact that this deliberate omission of a chair in no way diminished the cohesion of the group dynamic. The camaraderie among the characters was so compelling that the missing piece of furniture seemed an insignificant detail, overshadowed by the bonds they shared. It is a testament to the show's ingenious creators and the talented cast that this seemingly inconspicuous design choice has endured as part of the show's enduring legacy. While the fourth chair's absence remains a subtle quirk cherished by fans, it signifies the intricate dance between practicality and artistry that define the Golden Girls. Each episode, with its wit and wisdom, painted a portrait of friendships that transcended the screen. As the last echoes of laughter from the kitchen table reverberate through the annals of television history, the mystery of the missing chair stands as a silent reminder of the show's enduring allure. 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 Betty White's golden hair secret, unveiling the blonde transformation in the pantheon of iconic television series, The Golden Girl stands as a shining gem of wit and camaraderie. Among its many delightful secrets, one intriguing revelation shines as bright as Blanche's sequined dresses, Betty White's transformation from natural brunette to golden blonde. 
Throughout the series, Rose Nyland, portrayed by the incomparable Betty White, became known for her charming naivete and Scandinavian roots. Yet, beneath her endearing portrayal lay a surprising twist. Betty White herself was a natural brunette. As Rose playfully embraced her own fair hair on screen, the contrast between her character's innocence and Betty White's real-life transformation added an intriguing layer of depth to the show. The seemingly simple hair color shift was, in reality, a captivating testament to the actress' commitment to her craft. Betty White's decision to dye her hair blonde for the role not only amplified the authenticity of Rose's character, but also exemplified the meticulous attention to detail that defined the Golden Girls. The dedication of the entire cast and crew to each character's distinctive traits contributed to the series' universal appeal, transcending borders and cultures. The Golden Girls charmed audiences far beyond the shores of Miami captivating hearts in 60 countries. Its legacy reached even further, inspiring adaptations that span the globe. From England to Greece, Mexico to the Netherlands, and even Russia, the essence of camaraderie and humor found a home in each unique culture. In an era where television shows come and go, The Golden Girls endures as a beacon of timeless entertainment. Betty White's transformation from brunette to blonde may have been one of the show's subtler secrets, but its impact on the series' legacy is indelible. It's a reminder that sometimes, the most brilliant transformations are the ones that unfold strand by strand. So, the next time you revisit the beloved sitcom, take a moment to appreciate the golden hues that enriched Rose's character. Behind that seemingly simple hair color change lies a story of artistry, dedication, and the enduring magic of the golden girls. As we bid adieu, let us linger for a moment in the gentle embrace of nostalgia, wrapped in the laughter and camaraderie of four timeless souls who graced our screens in the vibrant tapestry of the Golden Girls. The series, a harmonious symphony of wit, friendship, and heartwarming moments, became more than just a show. It evolved into a cherished companion, a beacon of comfort in the realms of entertainment. As you reflect upon the brilliant banter between Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, and Sophia, perhaps you find yourself reminiscing about that quiet Sunday afternoon when you first stumbled upon their world. Or maybe it's the late night conversations with friends, sharing laughter, and your own unique anecdotes inspired by these remarkable characters. Regardless of the chapter in your life story, the Golden Girls etched itself onto the canvas of your experiences, leaving an indelible mark. So, let's invite those memories to the forefront, urging them to dance across your thoughts like the flicker of a warm candlelight. The tales of Miami's most iconic quartet are threads in the fabric of your own journey, a mirror to your own friendships, trials, and triumphs. As we wrap up this journey, we extend an open hand to you, our fellow traveler, to share your treasured moments, your musings, and the spark these golden ladies ignited within you. The stories may have reached their final curtain call, but the connection lives on, a silent kinship that bridges time and distance. In the spirit of camaraderie, let your thoughts flow like a gentle stream, carrying with them the laughter, wisdom, and love that the show bestowed upon us all. Thank you for weaving your attention into the tapestry of our musings, for joining us in this reverie of reflection. Your time and your sentiments are invaluable gems, enriching the legacy of the Golden Girls that continues to shine brightly in the hearts of countless souls. Here's to the memories, the moments, and the magic, all shared under the watchful gaze of four unforgettable friends.